what is up everyone chris here with another video and while it's still sunny outside i figured i would uh basically have a little time to make a quick video updating basically day one of the coyote i know the previous video i made was just basically titled day zero and the only reason i titled that is because basically we hadn't even begun doing anything and the engine hoist the arm or whatever failed the company sent out basically like a warranty that arm basically failed and then they sent out a replacement in hopes that this one would work and it does so the good news behind that is it does work and the second part of this video basically is the better news is that the basically everything is kind of going as uh proceeded i guess if you want to call it that uh basically everything's kind of just falling into place so basically uh i got sent pictures of the motor and the clutch uh, i stopped by last night to drop off parts and saw it in person basically the flywheel and clutcher uh and so the parts that i ordered basically are just being put in at this point and then secondly i got more pictures today that the transmission is bolted to the motor and everything so that's definitely the progress i want to see moving forward uh, i'm going to make a quick little stop by just to basically show you guys a person uh, of course to the camera itself in person and basically just give you a little rundown of everything uh, what's next is basically i'm waiting on mmr to send these uh, basically it's a stud bolt instead of having the uh, manifold studs and then like a lock like an arp uh, bolt like as a lock washer i guess not like a lock washer but a lock bolt if you want to call it that it's basically it's by arp and it fits the 5.0 and 5.2 so the gt350s uh it's right around 60 or 70 bucks so they should be here in a couple days hopefully and we'll be able to slap on the gaskets and then the headers um there's still bbk headers with the bbk x pipe and the borla cat back i haven't changed anything with the uh, exhaust itself uh what i do want to do is basically switch over to like ultimate headers uh or cooks or something like that eventually but the bbk has done decently well no issues uh we're gonna see where you know in the future if i pull the motor or anything like that before we put a boosted application on it just to kind of uh freshen some things up i guess if you want to call it that so everything is moving forward just basically waiting for parts to be shipped and that's it a lot of the sensors are out of the way um I think we're just waiting on some cam sensors and uh, seeing if we need to order some knock sensors and that's basically it. Because like I told you and like I showed you and I think a pre couple video ago, or a couple videos ago, I guess if you want to say it like that, that the motor I got basically needed every sensor. We saved everything we could from the previous motor. Still do have that. So we're going to go ahead and run on by. I'm going to drop off this battery box. Went ahead and bought a brand new UPR battery box. Uh, it's a relocation kit i do recommend doing that instead of having it in the front of the engine where you still basically have that for the 46 or a fox or something like that it just basically gives you a little more room some people still leave it up front because they have less things i guess or they just do things differently uh i prefer to have it in the basically in the trunk it's a nice little kit found it on ebay for about 70 to 80 bucks so if you're looking for something like that uh it's an enclosed little aluminum metal box uh you could throw your you know fucking racing stickers and shit on it so whatever but we're gonna go ahead and swing on by and i will basically just show you let's go all right guys like i promised here is a shot so we went ahead and just put the stole the old valve covers off the uh the old motor the original crate motor as you can see some of the stuff has already been pulled off it like these were already with it uh well valve cover covers painted there you go, the motor's coming along. Got the T56 on it. The old famous, you know, blow my ass MGW that everybody says is the best. It probably is, I guess, I don't know. It's an older one, so hopefully. But yeah, it's uh, something, like you said, is growing in the garage here. And uh, so here's the old motor or stealing stuff off. And uh, that's what happened to the, the previous motor. Kissed it goodbye. Open, open. I'll I sent it. you enough photos, you could probably do a little picture collage on YouTube's. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm playing on it. I'm playing on step by step. So that's what kissed the, you know, that's what the that's kiss what of did death it. did to the last motor. I keep making jokes about it's going to do it to this one too, but hopefully it doesn't. 
<laughs> I don't know what happened. It caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So this is it, guys. Uh, it's coming along. There's the old motor. Look at that. This one works now. Yeah, that one actually picks the shit up. They picked the whole fucking thing up. Oh, fucking got the brand new motor mounts that I bought two years ago on it. <laughs> got the brand new clutch fork from McLeod. It's all basically a McLeod setup. Just waiting for the gasket, or we have the gasket just waiting for MMR to send me the bolts. Put the headers on, and basically go from there and drop it in and throw some oil in it and hope it doesn't blow up. But yeah, that's going to do it with this video, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe for future content, and I will catch you in the next part of this build.